Alright guys, welcome back to another sweet tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be importing different animations for this player. So right now, check it out. He just, like he can go left and right, but it looks like he's just sliding on glass or something. Not very cool looking. And obviously we want him to do things like look like he's running and actually jumping instead of just like immediately just increasing his uh you know height or whatever looks kind of weird right now so that's what we're going to be doing importing different animation and it's going to be kind of repetitive but after you watch this video you guys are going to be pros at learning how to import animations and use different animations on the same player so the first thing that i want to do is actually just double click this guy and of course whenever you do we have all these windows pop up and right now you guys can see that we have one animation right here so in order to add another animation what you can do is you can right click this and hit add animation so the first thing I want to do is rename this to idle to run and what this animation is going to be is basically an animation of him going from standing to running because if we just put um whenever you press right just start running it's gonna look weird like he just immediately got shot out of the canning so that's why we need a transition from idle and full out running so that's what this is right here so the next thing we need to do is make sure that you have it selected of course and then right click in this animation frames window and press import sprite strip now this one is in sprites jungle performer player and idle to run this is also called tween and of course we want to choose the sprite strip itself and press open and this is actually always going to um, guess the proper amount and press ok now delete this first one because that was the default one and the first thing that you should always do is crop it so hold down shift on your keyboard hit crop and remember it crops every single image and then once your um, origin tool is selected then you can just go ahead and hit the number two on your keypad and then right click the origin and press apply to whole animation so if that was too fast then you are in luck because we got to do it a couple other actually the one other thing that I want to do before this is make sure that you have um, idle to run selected and for the speed we're gonna be tweaking the speed and also the loop for each one idle to run we're gonna set the speed at 15 and also no because once he's standing and starts running you know you don't want him to do it over and over again it's just gonna transition from one to another so 15 no and then it's good to go so the next one we want to add is just the full-on running so once that's selected of course what we want to do is just right click import sprite strip sprite strip so this one is player run and as you can see this is pretty much just uh, him running obviously now open this okay delete the first one and the first thing we want to do is shift and crop and as you guys can see just an animation of him running so now let's select the origin tool hit 2 and apply it to the whole animation and for this I can make sure you have this run animation selected and once your origins are in place for the run set this at 15 and we actually want to set this loop to yes because basically when this animation gets done and he gets done with one loop of running as long as you're still running just keep looping the animation over and over because he's not stopping so if he did if he had not looped then he would run and then his foot would stand in one place and it would slide obviously not the effect that we're going for so another thing that I want to do is add jump from run and what this is going to do is we're going to have him jump in two different situations the first one is as he's running if you jump it's obviously gonna look a little bit different than when you're standing still and then you jump so this is obviously the run or excuse me the jump to do while he's running so what we want to do is import sprite strip cannot say that word 
Oh well. Player, jump from run. Select jump from run. Open. Delete the first one. And crop. So crop all of those. And as you can see, here he is getting ready to jump. And that's pretty much it. Obviously. So the next thing I want to do is set that origin to two. Looks good. Okay, origin point. Go to where you're supposed to go. Origin to two. Apply to the whole animation. And for the jump from run, the only other settings that I want to do is hit the speed at 15. And of course, we don't want to loop this one either because we don't want them like crouching and jumping over and over. It'll look weird. Now that the last animation that we have to import at animation is jump from stand. So of course this is going to be the one where he jumps from standing still. So import sprite strip. And I got it right that time. Jump from stand. Jump from stand. Delete the default one. Drop all of them, change your origin point, and apply to whole animation. And for the settings for jump from stand, the speed of this is actually going to be 22. And it just looks better that way. And for the loop, of course, we are going to put no because we don't want them doing that animation over and over and over again. So now, just go ahead and make sure that everything is good to go. All right, it looks pretty freaking good. And uh, make sure your properties are proper, which they are. And once you're good to go, that's it. So again, I know the process was kind of repetitive, but again, the process, well, I'm not even gonna explain. You saw it uh, four different times. Well, five now, including all the tutorials. So uh, thank you guys for watching. You can now close out of this. And in the next tutorial, well, obviously we're gonna be working on the game some more. So I'll see you then.